Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome to this week's episode. It's gonna be another one where I'm just sitting and talking to you because, uh, yeah, I didn't really film anything this week. Um, I just feel like talking. <laughs> it sounds so girly. It's such a girl thing to say. I just wanna talk. Let's talk about our feelings. Let's get in a circle. Like, I don't know, that's funny. So, a few things uh, I was gonna talk about. Uh, one of them was Mother's Day. I hope everybody had an awesome Mother's Day. My mother is in Indiana, so I didn't get to see her. But uh, I sent her a nice card, so I sent my love, and, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing her again. She's an incredible woman. Uh, if you've ever met my mom, you know I'm very much like her, pretty much identical. Um, she's a very sassy, independent, strong woman, and very compassionate, and I feel like I got all my, a lot of that from her. Uh, she's my best friend. I tell her everything. In fact, probably more than she wants to hear most of the time. I hope you all had nice days with your mothers if you got to see them or hopefully you gave them a phone call or Skype with them or something. So last night, Ashley and I decided to get out of the house because we needed to get out of the house and went to see a movie. We decided we wanted to see the movie Maggie. It is a film starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and Abigail Breslin. It is a zombie movie. People are getting infected, but it's done in a more uh, realistic, way I feel like or at least not a shoot 'em up fun way like in Zombieland or you know the mo the horror zombie movie genre I feel is very oh my god these zombies are coming we gotta shoot them up or we're gonna die. Maggie makes it a lot more different because it's Arnold Schwarzenegger's father and Abigail Breslin is his teenage daughter who has been bit so she is going to turn into one of these zombies. It's pretty much him trying to have his last days with her because I don't want to say his character's in denial about it happening but you know he's thinking you know maybe she'll pull through or something will happen. I gotta tell you I mean I knew I was in for a drama and not like an action movie but I did not know I would be so emotional and moved throughout pretty much the whole film because it's so human and the fact that it's family and it's not just a strange like they're showing that these zombies are people and it could be a family member <sighs> you know there was also society you know coming after him telling him you know you need to kill her now before she's going to become a threat to the rest of the town so you got that on you if a family member was in this circumstance would you be able to essentially put them out of their misery before they turn into this this monster and it just made me think of so many things and think of my family and my brothers and who it was just I believe that there's movies which are what you go to watch when you want to be entertained they might make you laugh or they might make you have some sort of fantasy uh, off somewhere and see things that don't happen in the real world and then there's also films that make you feel things or think about things that you don't want to think about and I would definitely say this was a film and I respected the story, I respected the crew and the actors. I thought that Arnold was, was very, very good and uh, Abigail Breslin, of course, was, I haven't seen her do anything yet that I did not like. It, I think it's good for us to see films like that every once in a while so that you are, you, you do think about things or you do feel things that maybe you're not thinking about on a daily basis. As soon as we got out of the movie, I wanted to just message my whole family and be like, I'm so happy you're here and still alive and you're not going to be a zombie. Like, that sounds ridiculous, but that's, that's how the film, film personally affected me. If any of you have seen it yet, feel free to comment or give your thoughts on it. You know, obviously everybody's opinion is valid. Ashley thought it was a good film, but she thought it was a little slow, and she didn't quite take it in as emotionally as I did. Um, so that was, you know, her way of watching it. So I think it's, I think it's good for there to be all kinds of films like that that make you feel things or see things differently. So that was an experience. I also was thinking this weekend regarding music because I, I listen to music a lot, being a KJ and also enjoying to sing myself. I was having a discussion with Ashley about singers. I don't even remember how it came up. Uh, I was talking about technically good singers like Celine Dion and like opera singers and people that are known for having somewhat, I, I don't want to say a flawless voice, but every time you hear it, it's like great. I've come to realize uh, as a person and as an artist, I definitely respect and I do enjoy listening to technically good singers, 
but I've really grown to love singers that are more emotionally connected to the words that they're singing. If I'm watching a live performance or if I'm seeing uh, footage of a live performance and the singer is performing and you hear their voice crack a little bit or maybe they yell a part of the song they don't typically yell, I don't sit there and think, oh, that didn't sound right, but that's not the way the note's supposed to be. Um, I'm sitting there thinking, wow, they went there. That Clearly that lyric, either they wrote it or someone else wrote it and it's something they identify with or it's a memory or it's a person or it's a thought that they've had and they just had that and they expressed it and they shared it with you. You know, sometimes there's like whole recordings like that. I feel like uh, I've tried to start listening to some earlier rock stuff like uh, Janis Joplin and Jimi Hendrix and all these different people. I love a good raw voice. You know, it may not be pretty, but I, I can feel something. And again, like, I guess this is a really emotional, feely episode because I'm like a cancer and I'm like that. I'm a water sign and feel everything. I think it's good for us to feel things. And I think as artists, especially, we have to feel things for people who can't or maybe can't be as expressive about it as we can. That's actually my reason for acting now. I don't know if I've ever talked about that on the vlog, but when I started acting, I did it because I wanted to pretend for a living and be able to be other people. As I've grown older, I've noticed that there's some people who have to put up a guard or they need to be strong, whether it's for them or for their family or some people they know or their work. They have to be strong. If they can watch somebody going through all these emotions that maybe they can't feel or don't want to feel maybe, I feel like that can help them or somewhat be therapeutic for them. I'm not a psychologist. I don't know if that's true. That's just personally what I've grown to like about acting. Maybe this person can't really cry in public, but I'll cry in public or I'll cry for a scene if that's what's necessary for the art. Maybe that would make them feel better to see somebody letting go like that. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that's the end of that rant. That's, that's how I feel. And um, this month is still going really well. I'm working a lot uh, at my work. work. Uh, Ruth is, they just finished filming it this last weekend. So they're going to be editing that. Hopefully it's going to be up like in uh, June or July, so that will be up, and as soon as that's up, I'll be blasting it and sharing it everywhere. And they sent uh, the script for the next season, which is really exciting because my character Katie will be in it quite a lot. I mean, she was in it a lot the first season, but she'll be in a little more second season. So be sure to stay tuned for that. Again, sorry I'm just uh, talking with you, but I hope that you've enjoyed this as well. I would like to hear from you guys. So again, please give me your feedback. I appreciate it. And um, please follow my medias. Here they are. Like, associate, um, tell your friends. Again, I'd like to meet 500 likes by my birthday. That'd be super cool. And if you really want to get to know me, check out my website at emilyandkirk.com. I hope you have a beautiful week, and I will talk to you next time. See ya.